Hey, welcome back. Today I got this question um, about basic and free tools um, for non-coders to start learning programming. What's out there? What would I recommend? Well, if you've got no experience and you want to start learning programming, start, the, start understanding the basics of, of any programming language, I would suggest that you start with a no-code system. Um, there's many available where you're basically dragging around colored blocks and you connect them um, with each other. And uh, yeah, that's how you build your programs. Um, you don't need to type anything. You're just uh, uh, dragging blocks, much like Lego blocks, um, out of a library. And um, yeah, you create your program by connecting these, these visual building blocks there. Um, there's uh, a couple of, of systems available. One um, that I like is it's called Scratch. Um, if you're interested in, in learning Scratch, you can certainly go to their website or you go to my um, course, uh, which is not free, but it's very, very cheap. It's, I think, um, seven or nine bucks called the no code system.com, the no code system.com where I'm teaching you Scratch. But it's certainly possible to learn Scratch for free if you go to their website um, and just yeah, start doing the tutorials. But I would really be uh, advising you against looking out just for free, free, free stuff. There's so much stuff out there on the internet and um, you, it's really hard for you to... Uh, if, especially if you're starting out, it's hard to really recognize what's uh, good, what's not good uh, contents and, and, and classes and courses and material, um, what's outdated uh, versus what's up to date. Uh, you know, IT programming, programming languages evolve quite quickly. So um, if you're, you know, starting with material that's like a, a couple of years old, chances are that it's more frustrating you um, than anything else. So um, make a decision. If, if is this is this just a, a hobby? Is this just a something that you might be interested in and you want to, you know, take a look? Then by all means, yeah, go to the Scratch website or get my no-code system for like a couple of bucks, um, and 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 try to familiarize yourself with the concepts and, and see if it's working for you. But if it is, or maybe you're already one step ahead and you, you made the decision to say, no, this is what I, what I want to learn, um, then by all means, invest in yourself and invest in a course, um, invest in a teacher uh, who's, who's, yeah, been done that, who's been working in the industry uh, and not just teaching, but actually working as a software developer. Um, and of course, yeah, you can you can go to my website. You can um, do all kinds of, of, of courses with me, um, have me as your life mentor. But there's certainly other uh, choices that are available. Um, one thing that I would like to recommend, if you don't want to do it with me, which of course I would be um, honored if you, if you would give me the trust, but if you don't, um, then um, you can go to the uh, website, the Code Academy. Um, if you want to link there with some special offers, go to teachmetom.com slash academy, and we will forward you to um, this website that I've been using myself to, um, you know, learn something new. Um, I've been, I've been um, giving it to my son, um, who's been studying Python there. So um, Code Academy, meaning teachmetom.com slash academy is a good resource where you also can start for free. And then when you're sort of ready to jump into the, the, the real thing, um, you can invest your, in yourself in some courses. Um, they've got a monthly subscription that is very, very affordable where you've got um, access to all different kinds of courses. But again, um, if you are not ready to do that, there's plenty of free resources available. I would suggest you start with a no-code um, system like um, Scratch. And um, if you know what you're doing, if you know what you, that you want to uh, continue in your journey there into, into the world of software development, um, yeah, I would, I would make the commitment to invest into yourself, into um, a real course with a real teacher who's available there for you. Um, if you were to like to do that with me, go to teachmetom.com and, and, and get started. Um, but if not, that's totally cool. Of course, uh, you can just continue listening to this podcast. And um, yeah, we'll keep in touch in, in any case. Okay, thank you.